Gonna build a mountain. Hello you, welcome to Geekism and welcome back to a new video for Planet Zoo. Another day, another screenshot, this time courtesy of Game Informer. Uh, nice little article, nothing really that we haven't heard before, but there is this great new shot of a full hippo enclosure. So first thing then, let's have a look at what we already know. So um, this is from the same zoo that we've seen a few times now. Obviously, this is the one that they have set up that they're happy to take screenshots of. You can say it's the same one because we have the glass buildings there, the glass train station. We also have the safety home on the back there. So, uh, so yeah, nothing real new in the sort of different biomes or different uh, styles of zoos right now. Uh, the main thing we're looking at here is the hippo enclosure and specifically what the hippo enclosure is showing us in regards to fencing and water. So again, as with the last few screenshots, we aren't really getting loads of new information here, um, but we do have to dive a little bit deeper to really figure out some of the stuff we're looking at. Um, one thing I really love is the variation in path levels. You'll see here on the left, uh, the path is raised to be higher than the fence, so the, uh, the guests can see to look over the path uh, over the fence even sorry into the hippo enclosure and you can see some of them standing there one thing i really like about this and again it's probably a bit of a given really but after um jurassic world evolution and planet coaster both had a sort of set piece that goes on the path that tells guests where to look uh, in Jurassic World Evolution, they had different sort of uh, viewing platforms that they could walk into. And with Planet Coaster, there are a, items in the game that you can place down that let uh, let the guests know that there are scenery there. One thing I do love the look of here is that it does seem that if a path has visual access to a um, exhibit, the guests can stop on that path and have a look. So for instance, you've got a group here that looks pretty much uh, sure that they're looking into the hippo enclosure. There doesn't seem to be anything on that path. There's no sort of space that says this is a viewing platform or whatever it just seems to be that guests can see the animals from the path which is which is such a simple thing but i think really great because you know that's really how these zoos should work you should be able to have a little walk around and see different angles and there's like i say this bit of the path that's higher here but the path that's lower here etc uh, so that's one thing that looks really exciting next up looking at the fences here we can pretty much take from this corner here uh, that the fence system is using a system similar to Jurassic World Evolution which personally I think is great one of the one of the, one of the game one of the things the game did really well is its, is its fencing system and it does mean that we're not going to have to place piece by piece fencing we're going to be able to click and drag it works on a no base system um, which makes complete sense when it comes to uh, sort of trapping the animals in so to speak but I think that's a really good way of doing it you see the path here then goes down behind that fence and there's actually two fences coming from this same node so I assume that this this first one is drawn in for hippo hippos here and that's actually the area that the hippos are, are sort of locked to but then this fence on the left may well be the beginning of another enclosure or it may well be that you are just able to use fences as scenery pieces as well and ways of sort of ushering guests through the park. Next up then moving around the fence you can see that it opens into a glass viewing area here which looks fantastic and looking at the height I'm trying to figure out whether or not the water these viewing areas are actually under underneath the water and if I'm totally honest with you I'm not sure they are if you actually follow the water line around here um, it does seem like the water may well be just at the base of this wall of the glass panels here a lot of people have been saying oh underwater uh, viewing areas confirmed I am not sure that has been confirmed on this screenshot if I'm completely honest with you I, I mean I I'm always a little bit pessimistic with this kind of stuff because I think it's probably better to be that way and then be pleasantly surprised in the future rather than being massively optimistic and uh, and, and just being disappointed when things that you think are happening aren't uh, so maybe I am being a little pessimistic but I think if you actually follow the water line around here these glass panels here are actually above the water line uh, but saying that it's still uh, really great to see a different kind of fence used here with glass panels that guests can come up to see um, it has been confirmed in another article that, that some of the glass can be two-way glass or one-way glass even excuse me uh, so the hippos will just see mirrors uh, but the guests can look in it gives the animals a little bit more privacy which is really good and uh, what I think is happening here is this fence is coming round and you can choose the fence to either be a straight piece or a curved piece and then you can choose the pattern of the fence so you can have this sort of stone fence this one looks here more like a natural brick on the left and then obviously here we have a um 
places with uh, with glass panels in. And what I think that's happening here is with this straight bit of fence, you're probably drawing the fence uh, like you would do in Jurassic World Evolution so that the hippos know where they can and can't go. And then you're able to build off that fence using the piece by piece building. This uh, has already been set up in Planet Coaster. Uh, for instance, with the coaster stations, uh, there is a button on the station that you can click and it says build from station grid and it gives you the grid that the station's on automatically for you to start placing wall pieces and whatever else off it so it's all lined up nicely and I would imagine something similar to that is probably in play here so you can click on a piece of fence and click build from fence and then you can add uh, basically the rest of the building here, the glass panels the uh, the planting inside there's, looks like there's a rainbow uh, decal on the side there, all that sort of stuff probably comes to, uh, to add to the environment rating for the guests as opposed to the animals. Talking of the animals then, we can see the hippos here in the water and oh my goodness how good does this water look. As I've said before, the uh, the water in both Jurassic World and the Planet Coaster is a little bit disappointing here. It really seems like they've upped their game. Whilst it doesn't completely confirm full dynamic water yet, um, but there's definitely more going on with the water here uh, than it is in both Jurassic World and Planet Coaster, which pretty much just use a sprite that's laid out over the ground. Here we can actually see depths of the water, we can see the shadows going into the water, so we can see through the water to the to the base of the, pool, the pond there. We can see some stones, uh, some rocks hanging around. And I'm pretty sure we can see the hippo's uh, silhouette there as well. The hippo's shadow which does look a little bit like a rock. But I'm pretty sure looking at the placements of it compared to the uh, shadows of the trees as well. Uh, you can see that there. So I'm really excited. Whether or not, we, like I say, we get full dynamic water yet, I don't think that has yet to be confirmed. Um, but I'm really excited just to see this much nicer water where you can really take your time to work on the base of the ponds and the pools and things like that. And, uh, and hopefully... Uh, be able to sort of see into them from the spectator areas and that's around about all we've really got to look at on this one I think to be honest with you I had a little scoot all over the rest of the image nothing else is jumping out at me new perhaps these lights here uh, it might be worth mentioning you can see some sort of spotlights here on the fence they're relatively um, organized placement there and I do wonder whether or not you can place them against the wall and they're just a scenery item that you can place on or it's actually part of the wall so for instance you would click uh, concrete wall concrete wall with lights concrete wall with lights and vents you know that kind of thing or maybe they're just automatically already a part of the wall uh, that'd be interesting to see in the future uh, one more thing I will just say actually briefly is how the wall uh, here separates the water and the terrain that really excites me as well the terrain in Planet Coaster which I think this is going to have a similar system to it's actually really quite tricky to do these really neat um, Sort of straight line height different differentiations uh, differentiances i think i've made up a word height differences let's just use that um they're actually quite tricky to do in planet coaster so it looks like there might have been a little bit of work or it might it might just be a clever placement of the wall there you can see uh, at the bottom there you can see where the, the sort of terrain crumbles down into the water and that's the sort of thing we're used to in planet coaster so it may well just be that you happen to take a little bit of time how you're placing your walls and stuff but one thing i'm really excited about is the fact that it's not just flat land with wall all the way around you know there's elements there where there's rocks built up there's uh, elements where the water goes down into the wall and stuff so you get a lot of height differentiation a uh, different i'm doing it again you get a lot of height differences <laughs> um and uh, sort of terrain differences and all that sort of stuff you're gonna be able to make really sort of dynamic exhibits here for the animals so yeah really excited again nothing majorly being shown here nothing uh, sort of really crazy um major new stuff hopefully i'm i'm assuming that you know e3 is around the corner i know they are going to be there with e3 so chances are we probably start seeing some stuff around then uh, but it's still really nice to see that they are releasing little bits here and there for us to get our teeth into while we wait for the game this fall uh, and if that's the sort of thing that interests you make sure if you haven't already to keep it here on Geekism. Don't forget to click the subscribe and the bell because any Planet Zoo news, I will be bringing it to you as soon as I get it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, you can give me a like. It really does help out the channel. And if you're not already, don't forget to subscribe. Any thoughts, queries, suggestions, you can pop those all down in the comments. If you fancy a chat, you can find me on Twitter. I'm at John T. Sparrow. If you'd like to join in with the Geekism community, you can do so over on our Geekism Discord server. You'll find the link for that in the description. Thank you to all of our patrons. I make these videos possible through their generous support at patreon.com slash geekism. And don't forget to check out our affiliate links. You can get yourself some cheap games and other goodies while supporting the channel at the same time. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.